Hello, Leaning Crew family. So today's video is going to be a decor haul for our new house. We just moved all the way from Florida to Colorado last month. Uh, to start off with, we'll start with this picture behind me that you can't see very well. I may have Lonnie lower it because this is supposed to be my sit down area, but this is a beautiful picture. It's basically a in this house, if you've seen those saying, like in this house we love, we laugh, all of that. This one is an autism one that I love so much. I got the poster online. And then the frame I got at Hobby Lobby. It was $60 originally, but Hobby Lobby has it for 50% off. We're just gonna start behind me so I can sit back a little bit, okay? Two of our babies share a room. Uh, our youngest is 16 months, then Liam is two and a half. We were originally gonna do mermaids and not a cool theme. But then I realized that Liam could care less about nautical, but he loves dinosaurs. So we are somehow merging mermaids and dinosaurs in their bedroom. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but it's gonna happen. So I have some mermaid, I have some dinosaur stuff. Uh, first things first is I have this beautiful picture that I got from Hobby Lobby and it was $15. The next one is this one and it's mermaid at heart. This was $10. So not bad. Some dinosaur stuff. We got this nice little dinosaur that we can hang on Liam's side of the room. I'm not sure how we're gonna merge them all, but you know, once their decal stickers come in, I got some custom ones, like a dinosaur that says Liam, that's gonna go above his crib. That's like a sticker for the wall, a huge sticker. And then we have one for Penelope that says her name. So once those are up, we'll be able to kind of start placing things. This dinosaur was $10 as well. In our bedroom, Lonnie and I's bedroom, we are doing more of like a mountain adventure theme. We are sharing this big old bedroom with our four-year-old Lex. So for our side, we decided to do like an outdoor mountainy type. And then for Lex's side, kind of correlate it into like adventure and things like that. So for our side, we have some space. So I wanted to find a nice bear. <laughs> so it's wooden. Wooden is really a big theme for our entire house actually. So this kind of just matched with it. This was 10 15. This was $15 at Burlington. Right now, a lot of the things at Burlington are 25 to 50% off. And if you've been to Burlington, you already know that they have a lot of cheap stuff anyway. So these are like four different pictures. I don't know if we're gonna use them all, but Lonnie saw it and he just had to have it. I ignore that sound above, Lonnie is cleaning upstairs. For Liam's side, because Liam is gonna be starting preschool in January, which is unbelievable, but we got a little dinosaur foot to go on the wall. It hangs and he can put his little backpack right there. Oh, and it was, it was $4.50 because any wall decor at Hobby Lobby right now is 50% off, so go. If you don't know who Liam is, Liam is my two-year-old and he is diagnosed with autism. He is nonverbal for the most part. Any words he uses isn't functional. It's all echolela, repeating, scripting kind of thing. But, but he does growl a lot like a dinosaur. So I saw the sign and I knew Liam had to have it. Rar means I love you in dinosaur. So cute. We are budget shoppers. We are a large family of eight. So I got this sign from Target. I paid $16, way more than I would ever spend on something, but it seemed perfect at the time. So it's just like a little adventure sign thing right there. And then to go below it, I think I'm going to do, we have this, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was $6.50, so super cute. We're just gonna kind of put those together and see see how we like it. I'm keeping my receipt for things in case I just bought too much things or I put it up and it looks cluttered. The next thing I got for Liam's shelf because Penelope's having a white shelf to put mermaid stuff on, Liam's having one on the left. I got this for him also at Hobby Lobby. It was $4, so cute. And this is going to be going in our living room somewhere. It's just a wooden arrow. It was $6. It's just one of those things I feel like we can probably find a spot for it anywhere in the house, honestly. So it seemed like a good thing to snag up because what we've realized is we went to Hobby Lobby twice and the second time we went, a lot of the stuff was gone. Not all stores are open right now. So I think people are kind of like, let's go here if it's open and let's go shopping. I had bought a bow or headband holder for Penelope when I was pregnant with her. It's a dress, it's frilly, it's cute, but I just don't love it as much as I thought I was going to. So instead we're gonna do this. 
This is gonna be her bow holder. I'm gonna put ribbon where I can just put the bows on. She really doesn't wear a headband, so I figured this would be great to like color coordinate and all of that. It is kind of white, and if it looks washed out on the wall, then I might just add some color to it, like purple or till or something, just to get it to stand out a little bit. It was $12.50. What I loved about Hobby Lobby is it wasn't like imitation things. It was like real wood things. So I felt like it was worth spending a few extra dollars on things. So, oh. This is going on Liam's, Liam's Shelf of Dinosaurs. It's actually a piggy bank as well. All of the kids have a piggy bank, so I felt like it was tradition that Liam has one as well. So we got these, they're like little golden starfishes. Uh, we wanted to add some color. Uh, they were like $4 for all three of them. So we're either gonna put them on the dresser as like decoration, or Lonnie thought about putting them on the wall, which I don't know how he would do that, but we're, we'll kind of just figure that out. And then also to go on the dresser, we have a cute little mermaid. You're not gonna see things for Lonnie Jr. or Danielle because we are doing theirs kind of last because they need a lot of things. Like it's gonna be like kind of starting over as far as the baby's rooms, it's just a lot of decorations, just little things here and there. Noah's stuff you're not going to see because we already put it on his wall. So I will show you some B-roll we got. We got him some letters from Hobby Lobby that were half off. And they are thick and sturdy and they spell out Noah, but they're wrapped in marble. And then we also got some extra marble photos as well. Noah's room is probably the one that's closest to being done besides Lex's area. And it's really exciting to kind of see it come together. We can't finish it until Ikea opens up though. So <laughs> it may be a little bit. This was just a cute little holder thing just to hold some of Liam and Nellie's stuff. It was, I think like five bucks at Burlington. So we got some towels for our bathroom. Our bathroom kind of matches our room theme because it's right next to our room. And it's basically a mountain, just outdoors theme as well. So we went with some tan, tan towels and then some blue ones as well to kind of give it color because I feel like sometimes when you do these like farmhouse wooden themes, sometimes it come becomes kind of colorless like browns and just whites and doesn't add a lot of vibrance to it so we're trying to we're trying to remember that and add some vibrance that's why i love this photo so much because i felt like it it just really added our room some color i'm not going to show you guys all this house because that's boring we also got some fake plants because I would kill real ones. That's what would happen. Oh, this was at Marshall's. It was $5.99. This is going in our bathroom because I don't know, it just has that bathroom vibe to it, you know? This, this was also at Marshall's and it was $14.99, but it's going on top of our bookshelf in our living room. Our living room is looking very woody, very brown, and needs some, some vibrance. So I figured this would go great with that. We have a farmhouse bookshelf where the farmhouse door covers where the books are gonna be, and then you have little cubby holes to kind of brighten up the area. So that's what we're doing. And we also got this to help with that as well. I want to still have toys and things in the living room, but when the kids aren't playing with the toys, I still want it to kind of have a put together look to it. So I'm horrible about decor. So if you guys are watching this, I mean like this is going to look hideous. I would never do that. Just ignore it. I'm just sharing things. Uh, next we have the sign. I bought the sign off of Etsy. When you first walk into our house, there is this huge walkway, this huge wall, and I decided I wanted to do a picture wall. I'm gonna get a sofa table, and I have a whole idea, and I hope it looks as good in reality than it does in my head, but I got this big sign from <laughs> Etsy that says, ah, together is our favorite place to be. And then underneath is going to be a bunch of like farmhouse wooden picture frames, but we're a very close knit family and we really like spending a lot of quality time together, probably more quality time than other families like to. I had asked for suggestions. Sorry guys, Lex is upstairs. <laughs> this is real life. This is like a pretty sit down video with real life. I would asked for suggestions in our living room to again brighten up the space because the space was looking really, really dark and I wanted to kind of add some color to it. And someone had suggested to add some yellow as an accent 
color and to get some yellow curtains. So I followed that advice. Hopefully it looks good. And I got these at Burlington. There's two panels in each of them. So one for our dining room and one for our living room as our dining room and living room are combined. So we kind of have to kind of follow the same theme for it. I'm excited to kind of see what it looks like. They were only $9 for two panels. I got some yellow placemats to kind of go with the curtain and again, add some color and to hopefully protect, protect my tablecloth. So I think they were like $6 or $5.75 for four of them because uh, Burlington is having a 25% off home goods. So I got this at Hobby Lobby and it was $15, a little bit more than I probably would have spent because it's not like super big or anything like that, but I just really liked it. One of the things that's not pictured here is I got one of those big wooden rulers that you put on the wall and you get to mark where your kids are at. I don't know, I think it's like still in my van, but I don't know why I've always seen those and I've always been like, oh man, I want that. I think this is going to go above our couch, but I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It was $25, even half off, but... It says, choose kindness. We had bought this beautiful, beautiful picture. I'll insert a photo of it at Burlington. It was only $37, originally 50, and it's kind of like blue and white and, and has a gold trim and it's of mountains and Lonnie and I just both fell in love with it. And we tried to put it above our couch, but our four-year-old son Lex just tore it down two minutes later. So we're kind of afraid to put anything above our couch, honestly, because I think Lex is just going to rip it down. I may have to find like a decal or something to kind of put something in that space. I got a couple of picture frames for our picture wall. I already have a bunch. I bought a bunch, like Walmart had a bunch of them for like three or four bucks each. So I grabbed a couple of those because I'm just going to put a lot of them up. We got this one right here. It's a four by six, super cute. And then we got this Marshalls one. I looked for some at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby had some beautiful ones, but they were just a little bit more expensive than I was wanting to pay just for a bunch of photo frames for our wall. For our room, I got some pillows. I thought I was gonna go on this, this sofa, but I'm not so sure. I think these might go on Lex's bed. They are pillow slip covers. I already, I already bought the pillows, but we got this one that says Adventure Awaits. Got some flower ones and it's like a burlap material. Dream, explore, discover. Got a bunch of arrows. So we will kind of put those together. We got some toddler bed sets for Penelope and Liam. So Penelope's, as I said, it is going to be, um, it's going to be mermaid. I'll just insert a picture cause it's really hard to show, but it's going to be super cute. And then I got Lex. No, I got Liam, wrong kid, <laughs> wrong kid. Um, I got Liam this dinosaur one that is super duper cute. And I think he's gonna like that. Uh, we are choosing to not try a toddler bed yet with Liam. We're gonna wait until Penelope's ready and we're going to try to transition them both at the same time. That's been a question like when we're going to get Liam out of the crib. But for right now, the crib keeps him safe. So I like him being in it and I think it would just be a lot easier if we did them at the same time. And then we have this picture here. I got it at Marshall's. It's a little bit more than I probably would have paid for a picture at Marshall's because it's usually not real wood. <laughs> but it says, if you think our hands are full, you should see our hearts. And we're a large family, so we get that comment a lot. I don't know. I just kind of saw it and was like, oh, I love that. So I have a wall it's going to go on. And then I have some iron candle holders. You guys might've seen them in the other house and they're, they're black. So to kind of go with the, the font a little bit and we'll see how that looks and get some nice colorful, colorful candles. At the end guys, this all might look like a hot mess and that's okay. I think like so far I like it. It feels homier. It feels warm. It feels cozy. It feels like I'm gonna spend a lot of time here. Therapies are about to start for us. I really wanted our house to be like just a warm place because we're gonna be spending a lot of time here. I think that's it. As I said, there's a lot that I've been showing you. So look out for our furnished tour. There's just a lot that's already been put together and it's just impossible to show. There's a lot of like wall decals I ordered from Etsy and things like that, that is just hard to really show. But I hope you guys have liked everything. I hope you liked this decor video. <sighs> Thank you for watching and this spot, we might need to straighten it out a little bit, but
don't mind that. I love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind.